Hello and welcome. This is Rufal Monger and my friends. The Team Samurai Showdown DLC for The King of Fighters 15 is now live, and specifically, well, Darley Dagger is now live, and she's my favorite of the three characters, so I figured I'd throw together a video for you guys just to let you know what she's all about. A character guide, if you will. Not quite the big tips and tricks guides you might notice on the channel that are like an hour long. It's not going to be exactly that, but I'll definitely let you know enough about the character to be dangerous because Darley's got a lot of interesting things about her. So, well, hey, let's talk about it. So what exactly kind of character is Darley? I would say she is specifically big on neutral, like buttons, trying to poke out people and just high damage. She definitely has a couple gimmicky things, which I'll show you, but she, for the most part, wants to be played straightforward. One of the things is she just has like good sized buttons, like that stand uh, heavy punch here. And as you can tell, the range is pretty good. She also has light and heavy together. And it's her big heavy slash from Samurai Showdown. Urgh, and you can tell that hurts, right? Does over 200 damage for a single normal, no combos, no gimmicks. And the range is pretty appreciable as you can tell, right? Pretty solid. And for the most part, it's safe. Uh, don't do it point blank or nothing, but uh, if you do it at max range and gets blocked, yeah, you're probably not going to get punished for it. Besides that, she does things like command grabs. Big fan of command grabs here on the channel. Uh, also, a fair bit of range. Things like a uh, quarter circle forward and kick here. That brings out the calipers. And yes, they're calipers. They're drills, they're saws. She is a ship builder, not a pirate. I know there's a friggin' skull with a bandana on her saw, but it's still a saw, not a sword, okay? So she builds ships, just so you know. But regardless how she does it, she takes the tools of her trade and beats your head with them, right? Anything she can use to build a ship, she can use to beat your skull in. So speaking of her tools, let's talk about one of the first things of her moveset here, and that's the hammer. So this is quarter circle back and one of your two punch buttons. The heavier the button, the slower the move. And of course, naturally, you can EX it as well. So the thing about it is you can hold it. And you can move while holding it as well. And you can also dash out of it, either forwards or backwards. And while you hold it, well, the more you hold it, the better the move gets. You might notice the enemy blocked a couple of those hits, right? Well, no longer. Because at full charge, the move is actually unblockable. So if you do it normally, Nothing. If you hold it for a little bit, the move does change. See, it's like two big wallops instead of the one shot here. And if you hold it for just a little bit longer than that, well, then it's just straight up unblockable. Uh, the heavy version has different charge times than the light version, FYI. So if you're just looking for the unblockable fast as possible, go with the light version. So basically, you can just hold it and threaten with it. And if they wait too long, you get an unblockable move. Pretty easy, right? So charge it up on knockdowns, fake people out, all that kind of stuff. Uh, keep in mind, too, the X version is a juggle starter. So you can bounce out from the enemy. So if you got meter to burn, that's a good way to do it. Although it's not necessarily the best way to do it. I think that'd be cortical forward punch, uh, the X version specifically, but we'll get to that in time. Oh, and by the way, the hammer, well, it can destroy projectiles. It just swats them out of the air. Now, the startup's not quite instant, as you can tell, right? So... Uh, you kind of got to meet it part way, but you can do it. Now, here's another fun thing. It actually changes depending on your charge timing. So if you have a bit of charge, enough to at least get the double hitting version of the move, it instead reflects projectiles instead of destroying them. So just a little bit of a bonus there if you're just charging and walking forward versus a zoner. For the most part, they actually can't mess with you too much because you can reflect their projectiles back. And the EX version reflects projectiles without any charge needed. You can just kind of do it. So if you want to burn meter on that, that is an option available to you. Although once again, as you can see here, if you wait the last second, you will get bonked. So you gotta be a bit faster on the reaction times to swat it away. Now to speak on some normals here, you know, Darlie, well, she's a character with a decent amount of range. So don't expect a lot of things to be, you know, safe on block point blank, right? But there's one thing that's very safe on block point blank. In fact, it's the safest on block point blank and that's close heavy kick. If you look at the little frame data icons here, not only is it plus, it's plus plus, meaning it's very plus on block. How plus is it? Well, it's so plus. I have the enemy set to reversal, as you can see here, right? And if I attack right away, they actually can't even get the reversal out. That's how plus it is, right? So you are under lockdown. I was slow there. But yeah, you can make it so it's like a true block string from uh, Crouch Light Kick, right? 
So basically, you kind of got to really watch your P's and Q's, right? Like, if you mash anything, like, if Darley's going for, like, crouch heavy punch after the fact here, it's not a particularly quick move, right? But it's quick enough to bob your head in, because even your fastest light is not going to beat this move. That's how plus this is. And, of course, like anything, we're a character with a command grab, after all. If you realize this for what it is, and, like, okay, well, I'm just going to down back, she can just run up real quick and command grab you, right? So... Uh, in and of itself, it's a game plan. Also, on hit, say, no, they don't guard it. It's so plus, it will naturally combo into Crouch Light Punch. And from there, well, geez, Louise, if it can hit confirm into other things, well, that means full combos. Like, you can get some big boy damage in, for sure, or big girl damage in this case. So, it's kind of a one-stop shop wonder button in a lot of ways. The only thing that's not good about it is... Uh, unlike a lot of other comparable close heavy normals, you know, in this game, close heavy normals are some of the fastest moves in this game, and this definitely isn't. Like, you can link or into it from, like, a jump attack, but the timing is kind of rough. You'd have to do, like, the deepest of deep jump-ins to make sure it combos. So it's not going to be... There you go. Th that time comboed. It's not going to be your go-to combo button, like, off jump-ins. It's just not that, right? But for most everything else for pressure... Just go for it. If it hits, like you can hit confirm the single hit because it's just so long. That works. And if not, well, you're plus a billion. Go for it. Do pressure. Or once they respect the pressure, quick run up, command grab, go from there. And that's a lot. But that's not all. It's also very active. As you can see right there, right? King sort of like waking up into the move. The move's already been out there. Uh, but it's just... There's a number of frames that the move's out there for that's longer than average for move. And it means silly things like... That was a combo. That was a natural combo. Normally, even regardless of how plus it is on hit, right? However, if you can make someone wake up into the move, all of a sudden, you have entirely new combo routes. So this is a base example. We'll go with some more advanced combo structure later. But yeah, the damage is there, as you can see, right? So basically, this is day one, making this video. There's going to be so much more like tech and potential with this. But this is just to give you an idea of what's possible. Now, just a few things to note about her close heavy punch. So we talked close heavy kick, the stomp, and that's pretty good. But close heavy punch also has some interesting things. One, well, it just looks cool. Like, no, it's multi-hitting. Two... You might notice that works, right? So it juggles. Now mid-screen, the juggle don't really amount to too much. But in the corner, well, the juggles are easy peasy. Like this is like Blade Surf. Easy, right? Uh, if you get it raw in the corner, uh, the first hit of it can also happen again. So you can do this and then go. Hey, another light Blade Surf, right? Or now we can just build upon what we have here. Okay, we got this. And we go for that EX Blade Rush, which lets us juggle. But before we do that, how about we add EX Hammer? EX Hammer is actually somewhat difficult to combo into. Uh, you cannot get it off lights at all versus uh, Blade Surf EX is very generous off lights. So let's use that opportunity now that we know we have a heavy enough hit to do it. And now we Blade Surf. And we do our Caliper and get big damage. And wouldn't you know it, geez Louise, 500 damage. And we didn't exactly burn any real bar, right? We burned a bar for 500 in the corner. That's respectable no matter how you look at it, right? So it's interesting. It's a good move just in and of itself. And also for combos, the move grants the juggle anywhere property to the next hit. So even if it normally wouldn't juggle on an airborne foe for whatever reason, it gives juggle anywhere to the next hit. And it also gives it to itself. All three hits give Juggle anywhere to the next hit. So if I do Blade Surf here, and I hit, and I mash, and I only get that one top hit, right? The last hit. Now, if I were to uh, follow up here, as you see here, I got the hits anyways. So the first hit is the one that does the most damage, but if you miss it for whatever reason, you can still get it a second time. And this is kind of mildly important for combo structure, because you can definitely play around with it. Regardless of which hit hits and which ones doesn't, you can always get the other hits after the fact. You can always, at bare minimum in a combo, get all three hits in a juggle. So say now we do just a basic hit confirm combo here. We talked about how 
just lights goes in the EX Blade Surf, right? So let's make a combo with that using this jungle property. And there we go. So 395, and that's a little fancier. You don't have need to add the second hits if you want to. It's only just a little bit less damage. And to be fair, there's an element of timing. So for this one here, you want to wait a split second to make sure you get that first hit meaty in there before you go into Blade Surf. Because uh, if you just get the regular hits, the second and third hits are not special cancelable. Only the first one is. So you just want to play around with it, basically. There's a lot of permutations, honestly. Like Darley herself. So Darley's a larger character versus, say, King from before, right? And against larger characters, this permutation works, which does just slightly more damage, right? But against more slender characters like King, it doesn't seem to work. So mess around with it, basically, because there's a million possible permutations just due to the freedom the Juggle Anywhere status grants you thanks to this move. Just mess around with it, play around and see what you can get yourself. But those are a few combo ideas and a couple examples. Once again, just off a of basic light and the damage is very respectable considering you're burning barely any meter. Now for combos mid screen with the close heavy slash, by the way, it's not that easy because they're blown away, right? Now, if you cancel into the first hit right away, then yes, absolutely. 100% you can get your easy peasy combos, right? No big deal. But you know, how do we do that? Because you can't just do this and confirm the special right away because you'll die if they block. But turns out you don't have to because there's an easy option select. So when the move is blocked normally, it just goes through the move itself, right? If the move is not blocked, that first hit has a lot of like just meatiness. Like mm, you see the game slow down, right? We call that hit stop because the character's stopping. So what you want to do is this, and it's really easy because once again, keep in mind, the second and third hits of Close Heavy Slash are not special cancelable, only the first hit is, you can do something like this. So you do the move, and then delay Quarter Circle Forward, two punches, the EX version here of Blade Surf. So if you delay, you'll get it if it hits, but if the move is blocked, since it just goes into the rest of the move immediately, you get nothing. Because the second and third hits are already happening, and you cannot special cancel those hits, right? So this style of option select is in a lot of games over the years where you have a move that's multi-hitting, but only certain parts of the move can actually special cancel. So this has been around forever in a way, but Darley makes a really good example of it here because you just go for it. And if it's blocked, then whatever. And if it's not blocked, then hey, it's full combo time. And everyone loves full combo time because it leads to some pretty superior damage, right? So just keep in mind, close heavy slash, and then just delay doing the special move. That's all it is. There's nothing special past that. It's literally that simple. Close heavy slash, delay special, done. If it's blocked, no big deal. If you get the hit, you always get the follow-up. Perfect, easy option select. And just other few fun notes while we're here ending up the video. One, her EX hammer, actually does OTG off the ground the enemy. So if the enemy quick rises, you'll never see it really. But say they don't quick rise here. The second hit actually can hit a grounded enemy. Now, I don't know how applicable and amazing this is going to be. It could be nothing in the end. This could be just a cool little note to know. But if for whatever reason you know for a fact the enemy is not going to quick rise, then you can blast them with the EX hammer and get just a little bit more damage while they're on the ground. Good to know. And also on the note here, uh, her anti-air game's kinda bad. Um, she does have the caliper move, the upwards one, that's a dragon punch motion, which is invincible against air attacks, right? So how could her anti-air game be bad? The thing is, uh, the light punch version, which is the fast one, right? Even that, like it anti-aired, like I was invincible to the attack. If I stood still, I would've got bopped, right? As you can see here, but the startup's so slow that even if you correctly call out the enemy, they might just go through you and land, at which point you're recovering and uh, not so good, right? So just make extra sure that either you do the light or the X version, these are the faster versions. Don't do the slow one, the heavy one, because they will definitely land and just beat you up. The slow one's basically only for combos. Uh, conversely, uh, just stand light kick. 
from all of her buttons, it seemingly to me it seems to be her best overall anti-air. You don't really get anything out of it. It's just a check. But if you know they're going to like hop on you, it's a decent advancing normal for one. So even if they don't jump, you might still tab them. But uh, yeah, all of her anti-airs kind of suck. Even the ones that are invincible to air attacks because they're just a bit too slow. You just have to really be on the ball. Just so heads up on that. And that, my friends, is Darley in a nutshell. So hopefully this is just enough to help you be dangerous. She's kind of straightforward, not a lot of tricks. Uh, the thing is the big buttons. You know, she wants to dominate on the ground. She does not want you to jump. So make sure they're out of the air as much as possible. Like, be really on the ball with uh, your anti-air moves as we went over. It's a little slow, so you gotta just really pay attention, right? But once you're on the ground, she's got the big pokes here, and the big pokes do a lot of damage, as you can see. Uh, stuff like forward eight, this is also an overhead, by the way. So it just keeps people, you know, honest, right? It doesn't do a lot necessarily, but you will catch people enough with this. It's fast enough to catch people, at which point, you know, they'll be a bit more honest, and then you can just run forward for a quick low or something like that, or if they're being too defensive, just run forward for a command grab, right? But yeah, just big pokes, big damage. Uh, her damage output is absolutely above average. For the game, especially just off basic things like lights. Like, she can get so much off a of light here as we went over some of the combo examples earlier. And if you're looking the dump meter, she can definitely do a lot of damage. Like, obviously, this is spending a lot of bar and all that kind of stuff, right? But her uh, specials and supers flow into each other pretty easily so it's not too difficult to do stuff like this and like look at that that was almost TOD and I didn't even use max mode or anything right uh, if I labbed it I probably could get an actual TOD without max mode pretty easily actually but I'll leave that for you I've done my part here in showing you off the character for today so once again this is day one I'm sure so much more will be figured out in the future and I leave that to you my friends but hopefully this gives you a good head start on what Darley is capable of so that all said, my friends, we're at the end of the video. So thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well. And go out and play some King of Fighters.